Hi everyone, this is William here from Beyond Infinity. And today I'm going to go over this question here. This question comes from the 2022 um, Selective uh, Mathematical Reasoning Sample Paper um, that is available on the New South Wales uh, Education website. And the question goes like this. Uh, three different numbers are chosen from the numbers three, five, six, and eight. They are then added together. Which of these statements is or are correct? Number one, the total cannot be a multiple of eight. Number two, the total can be a multiple of three. And number three, the total is always odd. As always, you could pause the video here, uh, attempt the question yourself, see if you could come up with a solution uh, before continuing with this video. Now, how do we approach this problem? Well, this problem is really asking for three things. It's asking us to check whether it can be a multiple of eight, to check whether we can be a multiple of three, and to check the odd and evenness of the number if we pick three numbers together and add them together. All right, so we're going to start with the odd and even first, because if we confirm that it's always going to be odd, then it's definitely not going to be a multiple of eight, right? So, so that would also rule out number one. So let's start with the odd and even first. So we have three, five, six, and eight. All right, three and five is odd, and six and eight are even, okay? So we pick three numbers out from this. We can either have two odds, and an even, which is gonna give us an even, or we're gonna have two evens and an odd, and that will in fact give us odd. So we can see that if we pick three numbers, it can be even, but it can also be odd, which means that number three is not correct because it's not always odd, it can be even. Now, we look at multiples of threes, all right? We can see that uh, three and six a multiple of threes, but five and eight cannot, all right? So what we could get if we randomly get three of the numbers is that we can either get six plus three plus either five or eight, right? And since both five and eight are not multiples of three, any, none, none of these is not gonna be multiple of three, all right? not multiple three, right? The other option is we can have five and eight, and then the last number is going to be three or six. And because five plus eight is 13, not a multiple of three, none of that, none of these two is going to be multiple of three either, right? Because three and six are already multiple of three, adding something that's not a multiple of three is not going to give you a multiple of three, okay? So that means so that two is also incorrect because it, in fact, it cannot be a multiple of three. And finally, if we look at these four numbers again, we can see that eight, well, actually, if we look at these four numbers again, we can see that eight is a multiple of eight, but the other three is not. The other clue that we can get is it, when we stated at the start, right? If it's a multiple of eight, that means it must be even. And to get even, we must have two odds and one even. So it must be three plus five plus either eight or six. And we see that this is actually 16, while this is 14. And 16 is indeed a multiple of eight. eight. All right, so that means that this is also not correct because we have found something which is a multiple of eight. So your final answer for this question is in fact A, none of these are correct.